Back to us, the heroes. We're actually in a better spot now. Luckily, the Glimmer Dust Ranger was totally safe from all that shenanigans that was about to happen. And the Celestial Herald isn't worse for wear. I think we really have a chance here to take down Shadow Mode Candy right now. But first, the Mistral has to go. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bam. He's gonna activate Jaunty Tune. Put that right there. And that's a support action, so that's gonna take one away from, let's say, the Ranger. So now he has two. It's an or two and plus one blue dice and all offensive rolls. So he's gonna make an offensive roll. His strength, one blue, one red, plus one more red and one more blue. Plus his Dante Tune for one more blue. We've done more with less, let's try it out. He still has three actions. He's gotta beat two stars. One, two, three, four, five, bam. That's four stars and one hit on Shadow Mode Candy. She has one health left. I thought she was gonna be in much more trouble than this. We are off to a great start. Second action. Oops, that dice is going everywhere. And that is two, four, five, six. Totally fine. Shadow Mode Candy, we hardly knew you. Defeating a mini boss will give him two threat. So he's got four. And he's just gonna stop right there. I think that's the most he can do. He can't really do any supportive action, so that's it for him. Good turn. Great turn. Four wrath tokens though. See if we can't get them off of him later. But for now, hmm. We shall activate. Let's go for the Glimmer Dusk Ranger. Let's activate her. And move her up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, look at that. Oh wait, I forgot. Killing that mini boss would have given me a key. She can't forget that. It would have dropped right where she was. And then the minstrel would have picked it up. That was a support action, which means he takes all of the threat. But with this, thankfully, now the Glimmerous Ranger can use that key and open that chest. This allows us to draw two treasure deck cards and have them to the backpack. Let's see what we get. Gem of Alar City. Mm, that's not great. And the Bat Winged Key. Exclusive to our boss here. It's plus one dex. And if you have green affinity, it's plus another dex. And you know what? The Celestial Herald and the Glimmer Dusk Ranger both have green affinity. And it also gives you fly, which basically means you can ignore everything. So, cool. We're gonna keep those there. And this treasure chest is gone. I'm glad it really didn't get a boo booty there. Even if we'd drawn a boo booty card, that means regardless of what we drew in terms of uh, those two cards, it would have become a boo booty and that would have sucked. I think we have the firepower to deal with it though, but it's just not a good time. Okay, so that's the first action and I don't know if she can do much else. Although, wait, opening a key, or opening a chest gives you one threat, I mean two threat, and then the support action to open a chest is one threat. So dang it, she got three. Ugh. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it does matter because now those monsters on the third tile are disturbed. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. I mean, she used all of her movement, so not particularly. On the side is blocked, so I can't even shoot at them. And if you're wondering, hey, she's got ice, can she have opened a chest? Ice prevents the unique actions on your card. The generic action to open a chest is generic, and so it doesn't count. I would try to bandage her right now, but in order to do so, I have to roll more stars than hearts, and I have two hearts on my card. And I'm only going to be able to do that with uh, two blue dice. Probably not going to work out, and that just gives her more threat. But I could roll to re remove that uh, ice. And actually, that might be better. No, I wouldn't. I was going to say, I could uh, do my herbalist, which uh, would allow me to do remedy. But I'm thinking the paladin's potion, which is remedy and heal. That one's powerful. 
but I might as well. I'll use that. What I do now, I'm using Vigor. It's the generic action, and it says, Roll your armor. If you roll more stars and you have status effects, remove one of them. And I rolled three. So that... There we go. Ice is gone. Okay. But I think that's all she can do. And that'll be her turn. Because we defeated a mini boss, we're gonna get an extra treasure card. What do we get? Hey look! That doesn't count. When you draw a treasure card or a boo booty as a result of something else other than a treasure chest, you shuffle that boo booty right in, back into the deck and we'll draw another one. So let's see what we get this time. Uh, Ancestral Mail. Hmm. I mean, it's good. It's green armor, but... I don't know. So now we've got these three treasures to do something with. I think we'll give this back wing key to the Glimmer Dusk Ranger. And it doesn't give you one red and one green. It gives you one red. Or, if you are a green affinity, it'll give you a green. And Glimmer Dusk Ranger is a green affinity. I would give this to the Herald, but she already has one that gives her an extra action, and I think that's more valuable to her. Besides, the Ranger earned it. This gem of all our city, we're gonna discard, and if you discard a treasure card, you can remove a wound from one of your heroes. So I'll take one off the Ranger. And lastly, I think we're also gonna discard this male here. I would give it to the Minstrel, just so that he has another... Just so that he has a treasure card, but I think I want the one more heart off of Ranger because she's gonna start getting charged by everything on the third tile. So let's see how that works out. We've got quite the undead army over there on the horizon, but let's see what their action is. Hack and slash, move and fight. Well, as we all know, elites first. There are no creeps, there are no mini bosses. So the elites will be the dust mages. They can move five. One, two, three, four, five. And they're trying to get within a range of four. That's not a very far range. One, two, three, four. Nope. That's not a very far range at all. The other acolyte will go over here. One, two, three, four, five. They're within gang range, but again, even with gang range, it's still four. Oh, but I did forget to mention here. Because we defeated another mini boss, will also go down this mighty monster chart. So now all the monsters have plus one armor and plus one static strength. Making a note of that, moving that to the side. Then we've got these Dread Knights. They move five. One, two, three, four, five. And no way that you can get into range even by moving through these walls thanks to the pathing error. And then one, two, three, four, five, just be yeah, adjacent to him. The Dust Coven Necromancer all the way over here. It can move five. One, two, three, four, five. And everyone else is just trying to get within gang range of him. So these, this guy's good. He's good. Move up one. One, two, three. He's good. One, two. He's good. And then one, two, he's good. That's gang range. And no attacks are possible because uh, everyone's range is pitiful. So there you go. Wow, okay. I was totally fine there. It looks like we're just gonna clean up this side of the board and have to deal with the final encounter. Von Drak. But that'll be for the next video. Thanks for watching.